What's up guys, Joel Valley here from Media Glitch and I am here with the lovely... Ashley! Yes. How's it going? And Ashley, we were just at Game On Expo in Arizona. You did a bunch of panels. I did a bunch of panels. One of the panels I did was Mortal Kombat, that 25 year anniversary. Epic, it was so epic. Had to check out that that uh, panel if you get a chance on our, on our channel. And uh, I did get some one-on-one -on -one time with our, 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 our friend Sindel, mm -hmm. played by Leah Montelongo. And uh, I just want to give a personal thank you, Leah, because she was our camera guy, or girl, on, uh, on the Daniel Pacina interview, if you haven't checked out, that out, check that out too. So, and uh, I felt, I was like, because I didn't have a camera person, because everyone left on Sunday. Oh. You know, except for you, you, but you were doing a panel. Same. And so I didn't have anyone to run the gear. She's like, I'm good in front of the camera and behind the camera. So Ooh. I was like, okay, let's check it out. And she did not disappoint. So without further ado, here is that interview with Leah Montelongo. Hey guys, Joel Valley from Media Glitch here, and I am here with Leah Montelongo. And uh, you play the part, well, the main role you play is Sindel in Mortal Kombat 3, but you also uh, played Serena, uh, which they recently bought, brought back, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, from uh, Mortal Kombat uh, Sub-Zero Mythologies. And so tell me, how were you approached uh, to play uh, Mortal Kombat 3? Uh, well, lucky enough, I was actually Shao Kahn's girlfriend at the time. And in real life. In real life. <laughs> and um, they basically asked Brian if he knew any uh, females that were in shape. And so they called me in and I auditioned and uh, John Tobias called me a couple days later and told me I got the part for Sindel. And then um, Serena came about and they actually showed me some sketches and she looked, uh, you know, facially pretty similar to me. And, and so one thing led to another and I was, uh, I was able to portray Serena as well. Now, because you were Brian Glenn who played Shao Kahn and because you guys were romantically involved, did you, is, is that where Sindel's backstory came in or was that, uh, it, it was already written when you got in? Yeah, actually it just ironically happened to be that way. It was already written that way and uh, we happened to be a couple and so then, you know, I became the queen of the underworld. <laughs> so, uh, explain the process when you went into Mortal Kombat 3. What did they have you do? What was going on? What was that like for you? Uh, initially when I went in, they put me in front of the green screen and just asked if I could throw some punches and some kicks and they wanted to see uh, how I could move physically. Um, and then from there, you know, Sindel kind of evolved. Right. Yeah. Okay. And so in, in Mortal Kombat 3, you're doing digitized, they're t taking imagery of you, but in Mortal Kombat Mythology, you're shooting on film. No. Are you not? No. What? We were still on green screen. In right. fact, um, some of the some of the bloopers, if you watch the outtakes between uh, Richard Divizio and myself, uh, it's, it's pretty hilarious. We have toyed with the ninja long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Do not fail. We, you and I. <laughs> <laughs> we, you, me, everybody in this. <laughs> With the ability to freeze. I forgot my line. You suck. A mortal. I mean, a keeper. <laughs> Sir, a mortal has escaped from the. <laughs> Sir, a mortal has escaped from the prison of souls. He is headed towards the gates of immortality. It's okay. One more. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, Where, you know, he's he's having the Serena. He's telling me what to do, and uh, he's in this makeshift, you know, his his seat, his chair of authority, and the background was was green screen, right. but they had put all of the images in right. to you know the whole but the whole still game. Like video, right? They're still capturing video. Correct, video. correct. Yes, yes. Yeah. But the background was still. Green screen, yeah. So what process did you like better? Because the one that you get to really act in or the one that you're like, you're, you're doing bo body movements essentially, right? Yes, um, with Sindel it was a lot of body movements. It was also a lot of body movements and holds. So like, 
Um, the falls that I did were actually on a mat, a gymnastics mat. The running that I did was on a treadmill. Um, there was a, there's the flying kick where I'm actually sitting on a, a wooden staircase. So they take all of those things out and there are a lot of sit and holds. Whereas Serena was definitely much more interactive. Um, you know, it's like my acting debut. It was, it was fun. It was fun. And because I didn't have to wear a 30 pound wig, Serena was definitely much more kind of like laid back in a day on set. Besides like um, Quan Chi, I mean, she has a major part in, in that game. Have you ever played th that game? And have you ever? Uh, great question. I have not played that game. Yeah. And um, what's interesting is since Mortal Kombat t uh, X came out, right. um, that's where Serena's kind of come back to life here, yeah. right? Yeah. And so I'm finding out more and more about her backstory and not to share too much of my personal, but, um, but I can see some parallels between Sindal and Serena and my actual life. So, so uh, it's, it's interesting to just find out more about the backstory and I definitely would like to get more involved with the character of Serena and, you know, play the game. Um, it was definitely fun shooting with John Turk and um, Richard and you know all the all the crew awesome and uh so do you have any uh future projects coming up are you uh i know that you said or you were just talking a minute ago because i when i was researching up on you and it was you're talking about you know you've been through some dark times you've been through some things you know and uh, but you're here right now and you so you've overcome do you have anything that you would like to do or projects you would like to do and stuff like that uh, currently, I am um, going through my teacher training for yoga uh, through Equinox. So I'm a group fitness instructor there at Equinox in Santa Monica. And I'm moving forward with more of that like physical mind-body connection, um, creating more content online, yes, uh, developing more of my channel, kind of coming back as that you know, the fitness role model and, and spokesperson to, to connect and, and showing that there are alternatives during those dark moments to find find your chi. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm always ready for a call, you know, to, to do a shoot. It's always fun to be in front of the camera. I love it, I'm a ham. Um, but working on things that, you know, really have great content, I think content's most important nowadays. Okay. And uh, where can people find you if they, if they want to look up those videos, stuff like that? Yeah, currently I'm updating all my social media, so I think the best thing to do is just find me on Insta. Uh, you can just find me at Leah Montalongo. Facebook, I'm, you know, there sometimes, not all the time. Um, but Insta, I'm, I'm pretty uh, vocal on and continue to, to develop that. My YouTube channel will be up again soon. So be on the lookout for that, guys. And I just want to personally thank you for being a part of video game history. Um, I mean, it's cr like to me, it's crazy that I'm sitting here next to Sindel. I mean, that's that's insane to me. Like that's so awesome, you know. And uh, and it's just been an honor this whole weekend hanging out with you and, and doing the panels and stuff. So and I appreciate your time and I just you know wish the best for you and hope yeah. to and be on the lookout for her stuff, guys. Yeah, so thanks, guys. yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. My Zelda poster fell down while we were doing that last shot. And so is it back up now? Yes. Thank you. Appreciate that. We're good. That is the interview. Thank you so much. Uh, what else can they do? Oh, and they can like, subscribe, comment, ring that belly bell, and <laughs> get live updates whenever we're posting new stuff because we know you want to see it. And if we they're know. watching this on live TV and not YouTube, what can they do? Definitely come to YouTube then. and. I, I, I don't read minds, y'all. I want to read your nice comments down there. Please, post some love. For, for sure. For the fam. For sure. We all about it. That is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.